Hi, Nermac family. It's Mrs. Green here, reading from my home to yours. Today's Friday, May 22nd, 2020. And we have the weekend coming up, the long weekend. It's Memorial Day on Monday, so we have Monday off. So I hope we all have a nice weekend. I hope the weather holds up and it's beautiful out because it's beautiful out today. So I hope we have another great day. Today's story, it's a classic. It's called Caps for Sale. That means a classic. It's been around a long time and it's been popular for a long time. A lot of people enjoy this book. Caps for Sale. What do you think it's gonna be about? Can you make a prediction? Caps for Sale. Once there was a peddler who sold caps. But he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap. That's this one here, his own checked cap. Then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and a bunch of red caps on top. So all different caps for sale. He walked up and down the streets holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, caps, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. You could tell this book was written a long time ago because it's only 50 cents for a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he, and he walked about the town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, he thought, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his head hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he awoke, he was refreshed and rested. Do you notice anything? What's different? But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. As he felt, all he felt was his own checked cap. Hmm. What do you think happened to all his caps? He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? Can you make a prediction? What do you think's up in the tree? You guessed it. On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. I'll bet you thought his caps were there, but I don't know if you predicted they were picked up by monkeys. At that all those monkeys wearing his caps how cute are they hmm. the peddler looked at the monkeys the monkeys looked at the peddler he didn't know what to do so finally he spoke to them you monkeys you he said shaking his finger at them you give me back my caps but the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said tss, tss, tss. This made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you! You give me back my caps! But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you! You better give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped their feet back and said, tss, tss, tss. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back and said, tss, tss, tss. 
At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap. And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First, his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to the town calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. What did you think of that story? I thought that story was kind of funny. It just goes to show you what about monkeys. What do monkeys do? They copy you, right? Monkey see, monkey do. So they saw the peddler drop his hat and they dropped the hat. That's how he got his caps back. So I thought that was a funny book. I hope you liked it. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have a great long weekend. Enjoy your Memorial Day holiday. Maybe you're going to have your uh, family cook out in the backyard or, or uh, cook out or barbecue. Have fun, but be safe still. Be safe, have fun, and have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.